Hey guys, Slater here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a house tour. Not this house. This house. Now we jokingly call it the Scott Pod in our Instagram stories, but it's not actually called that. This was built by my father for his grandkids, Scotty Boo and the rest of the little chickatings of the young family. This was a quarantine project and he spent about five or six months tatlo lang sila, making this. So it's amazing how much you can have done if you know what you're doing. So very impressed ako by my father. This was all mga wood lang na mga recycled. Meron mga pine, meron mga wood na kinuha namin from the project sites. These are some woods in our warehouses na sobrang tagal na ginamit na lang namin dito. And it's very interesting what they have done. Now the story of this was one of the granddaughters wanted to have a doll house. So my dad promised her, oh, sige, don't buy the doll house, I'll build one for you. And imagine ito yung lumabas. So this would be my dream house if I were a young kid. Scott is so lucky to have a granddad who can do things like this. And uh, I'll give you a tour right now. First up, we have their climbing wall. This wall is made out of pine. Tapos tinreat namin ng waterproofing. Not namin, I didn't have anything to do with this. Tagapag tour lang ako. And then my sister-in-law bought these online, parang plastic rock climbing things. And then we had the kids paint their names and their fingerprint and their footprint. And then we attached this rope at the back so you can climb it like this or you can climb it using the mountain stone things. It's super fun. Nainggit ako. And then, meron kaming slide na nilagay. Now, if napansin nyo, this is from an old heavy equipment. The wheels of a road roller, yung mga big compactors. So, ito yun. And then, may platform on top. And then, dito ka slide. We recycle this. This is one of the kids' old toys. So, what they usually do is they climb up there and then come back down. But that's not the only fun part. Meron pa marami. It leads up to these steps which are also wood, rock. And then yung mga planks dito are recycled planks. So hindi siya matching. Pero sobrang ganda pa rin. This house isn't perfectly finished yet but it's about 90% of the way. Meron pa mga improvements. Ito is like made out of pine and then this is Scott's favorite toy na nilagay nila dito as a steering wheel and then at the back meron pang mga telescopes that the kids can play with and then even going inside the handle is plastic. Meron tong lock dito. When you come in the door is kid size. A very tiny house style of House. So, ako hindi ako kasha. And um, there's a window going out. So, puro kid height. So, dito sila nagsusulat. And then they can see people outside. The kids write their names here. They're allowed to write on the walls. And then we just paint them over. So, meron to mga writing. And then we painted them over. Meron silang kunwaring cell phone. Nilagay din namin. That's Scott's favorite toy pala. So this house is almost like a real house, a real tiny house. Meron tong mga electricity, there's lights, there's electrical outlets, meron pang nilagay na ambiance, light for fireplace feel. And it's surrounded by the trees outside, meron mga shadows. And it's super windy when you open up the jalousy. And you can see through the gardens. And you can open this up to a secret tunnel. This secret tunnel leads outside. Si Chris, 
ay papasok dito. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll try to fit in. Ah, ba ako? <laughs> so apparently, it was not made for me. Buti na lang, it still holds up. It's strong enough. Siyempre, engineer naman gumawa. <laughs> it's so hard! Okay. <laughs> how, this, how is this fun? <laughs> so if you notice, ano siya, naka-joist to siya. May mga steel frames kami nilalagay. And ito yung sinasabi ko na not matching yung wood and um, it's super strong so <laughs> that was my breathing spiel <laughs> so this was a very a project of love so my mom would hang mga Ganito lamps and then yung owl niya na palagi niya nire replace kim position kasi she wanted it perfect. And then, ito are solar lights that were hung by my sister. These light up at night na parang Christmas tree series, but it's solar powered. So, sobrang ganda when it's nighttime and then you can just see it. It's lit up with like a nice ambiance. But ito dito mag date love. Dito ka, ganyan. Mm -mm. And if napansin nyo, sobrang windy. So, when the kids are playing, sobrang enjoy talaga nila yung paglalaro. But wait, there's more moms there. Come right here. This is their afternoon picnic table because it shades you from the sun. So, dito sila tumatambay and look out to the view at the back, sobrang, sobrang suerte nila. <laughs> so I said this was their afternoon picnic table because there's a morning picnic table on the other side. So the sun rises from there and then sa morning, dito sila para hindi mainit. That's the afternoon picnic table right there behind me. But we can also see na marami pang mga plants dito, may tree stump na nilalagay just to make it like more log cabin feel. And even this one, yung dad ko rin ang naglagay, very artistic pala to si daddy. <laughs> so, siya lang gumawa nito and then he made it into a swing. And then he even waterproofed yung mga baba ng, ng tree stump so that it wouldn't rot while it's raining all the time. So this is made to last talaga, hindi lang to like project project na disposable. So close to the ground. <laughs> now, this may look like uh, steps lang na you can just play around with, but this also doubles as a fence kasi this is their pet area. And if you notice, that's just one of the few turtles that live in this space. So they get to play around with the turtle, they feed the turtle, and sometimes ride the turtle, but not too heavily. <laughs> We also have this campfire area. It used to be a campfire area, pero ginawa ng parang botanical garden. So cactuses will be cacti. Cacti will be planted here. And this was also one of the heavy equipment wheels na nirepurpose namin. So we place rocks around it. And uh, we used to have campfires here. Ngayon, garden na siya. Pwede na rin. <laughs> As I said before, this is the fence. This doubles as a fence for the turtle not falling or not going over or not getting lost. But on the other side, we also a light block, which also serves as the fence for the tortoises. And beneath the house are also light blocks that serve as the home for the tortoises.
So uh, that's it, guys. I hope you like this tour, this tiny, tiny tour. And uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. That's it. See you later.